Do you want to create your own Jeopardy style game using Google Slides? Well, if so, you are in the right place. Hey, it's Jeff with yourlearningcareer.com. So today I am going to show you a template that you can use to create your very own customized Jeopardy style game. Now, uh, before I get too far, I want to tell you if you have PowerPoint, if you have access to PowerPoint, then I would encourage you to check out this video uh, because just because PowerPoint does have more functionality than Google Slides. So I would tell you to go, to go uh, check that out, see uh, that template um, if you do have access to PowerPoint. But again, uh, this what I'm doing right now is for Google Slides. And if that's what you have access to and that is what you are using, that is just fine. So uh, what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to show you how the game looks so you can see how it plays. And then I will show you how you can customize it to make it your own. And then finally, of course, I'll show you where you can go to get it. All right, here I am in Google Slides. The first thing you're gonna do when you're ready to play is you're gonna go into slideshow mode. So the title slide is gonna come up and then once, whenever you are ready to start the game, you're simply gonna click on start game. And it's gonna bring up this uh, board. Now on this board, you'll notice the categories are not revealed yet. And that's because a lot of times uh, I like to do like a, a kind of a big production out of the category. So what, I, what I'll do is I'll click on present categories and then I can say, all right, here are the categories, category one, and then you know, as you click, I'm just going to click on each slide and it's going to bring each category up. And of course, these will have whatever your categories are, you know, once you update this. And then after category six, it's going to go to the main board. Now, if you don't want to introduce all the categories like that, that is okay. Let me just show you what it looks like. If you skip that, all you have to do then on this uh, board, if you want to not go through the, if you don't want to go through all the categories, just click on skip to main board and then it's going to go here. Okay. So uh, from here, this is where you're going to spend most of your time because this is, this has all of the links to all of the different clues and answers. And it's really super easy uh, to play from here. All you're going to do is, you know, whenever your contestant, um, wants to play a certain category with a certain number. Like, let's say they say, I'm going to play a category three for $400. You're just going to click on that link. So when I click on that, it's going to take me to the appropriate category clue. And of course, right now it's generic because we haven't, um, made any updates yet. And so you can, if you'd like, you can use this timer. Um, if I click on that, it's going to give a five second countdown. And then at the end of that, they have to answer. So, but that's totally optional whether you use that or not, but it's there. And then uh, you're going to click on reveal answer to show what the answer is. If they're right, they get 400. If they're wrong, they lose 400. And then I'm just going to go back to the main board uh, by clicking that button. So a couple things to know about Google Slides. You're going to notice I was in category three for 400, but looking at the board, you wouldn't know that. And unfortunately, that's because Google Slides, and I, this, this baffles me. I don't understand why this is, to me, this seems like a very basic feature. But for whatever reason, Google Slides, they don't, there's no way to change the color of the hyperlink after you've clicked on it. So like in PowerPoint, you can have a followed, you have a followed hyperlink option that you can change the color and you can actually dictate what color it changes to. And it will do that and you can see where you've been. Unfortunately, Google Slides does not have that functionality. So here's what I have for you, just to show you. What you can do is um, I will include this. This, what this is, this is something you can print out, like you can, you can populate it with your categories, you can print it out, and then what you can do is manually track which ones um, have been answered. And I know that's not ideal, but it's, it's kind of a workaround um, for the limitations of Google Slides. Uh, so this is what you can use. Now the other thing um, you'll have to keep track of manually is the score. So as people are earning points or earning dollars, 
that is something else you'll want to do manually because we don't have a way, there's not a, a way like in PowerPoint, we have what are called macros, which allow you to kind of create these sophisticated little programs that will do things like scoring, but we don't have that in Google Slides. So, um, uh, but still, even, even without it being in the game, you know, you can keep score on a flip chart, you can do it on a whiteboard, you can do it on a piece of paper. It's not that big a deal. You can still really have a great time uh, playing in Google Slides. So basically, like I said, you're going to spend most of your time here. You're going to go through, uh, you're going to play the game, uh, go through the different uh, categories, the different answers. And when you're ready, there's something called a final clue. And basically this is like your final jeopardy, right? Um, so whenever you're ready for that final clue, um, and this is the one where you can let your contestants um, wager, you know, they can bet how much they're gonna um, earn if they get the answer right. So that's what you can do here. So this, you have a final clue, uh, question clue. Uh, this, if you click on this, it'll play some music in the background while they write their answers out. And then you can click on reveal answer and there it is. And then if you click the next button after this, you get this and this has some music playing in the background and then, you know, just saying, and the winner is, and there you go. And that's, that's your game. Now let's look at how to customize the game. So if you're going to use the present categories, then the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go in and update these category slides. So uh, that's real easy. All you do, see if I click here and I'm just gonna highlight it and I can enter my category. So let's say this one's gonna be movies and then I'll go to category two and that's gonna be, let's say television. Okay, you know, and then you, keep going through each slide. And then the other place you're gonna need to update categories is here. So once again, I'm just gonna highlight that and I'll put in movies. Over here I'll put in television and I would just continue through my other categories. Once I have my categories updated, then I'm going to go and I'm going to update my clues. So let's say uh, on this one, I'm gonna say uh, this Tom Hanks, Hanks movie features a mermaid, okay? Mermaid, mermaid, there we go, okay? So I'm just typing in my clue there, then I'm gonna go to the next slide, which is the answer. And once again, I'm just gonna highlight and I'm gonna type in the answer. And, and it's, you know, what is, or maybe I go do, what is splash? <laughs> or I can just put splash, you know, whatever you wanna put there, okay? And now if I go back into slideshow mode, you're gonna see, and when I click on the 200, there it is. This Tom Hanks movie features mermaid. And then I reveal answer, boom, what is splash? All right, so that is how you do that. And by the way, you know, you can insert, if you wanna put um, pictures, if you wanna uh, insert a picture here or on here, maybe I wanna put a picture of uh, Daryl Hannah there. <laughs> I, can, I can do that, you know, whatever, wh whatever you can do in slides, you know, as far as inserting pictures, you can, you can put that there. You could insert a video, you could insert uh, a sound. Uh, so you can really have some fun and do some creative stuff with these questions and answers. The other thing I want to show you real quick too is you'll notice on each of these uh, clue slides, over to the side you're going to see something called secret clue. And I've got that on every answer, or I'm sorry, I have that on every clue slide. And, and the reason for that is, is so you can choose which ones you want to use it on. Because usually, I think they, uh, and I'm sorry, what is secret clue? Secret clue is basically like a double jeopardy question. So if you want to use a double jeopardy type of question, that's what the secret clue is. And basically what that allows the contestant, so if the contestant uh, picks something that's designated as the secret clue, they can wager the points they've earned 
on whether or not they're going to get the answer right. So the way this works is if I decide I'm going to use category one for 400 as my secret clue, then what I need to do is I need to duplicate the slide. And then, okay, I'm going to go back to the original. I'm going to get rid of the text here and I'm going to put my secret clue there. So that way when they click the link, it goes to the, um, it'll go here. Then on here is where I'm going to actually type the clue. Here is the question, whatever. Okay. Whatever the question is. Okay. And so the way this will look is let me go to slideshow. So when I click on the 400, that then as the whole, oh, it's a secret clue. And then before I'm revealing the clue or the question, this is when I would ask the person, okay, how much do you want to bet? You know, do you think you'll get it right? Then I will click and it will give me the question and then I can give them the five seconds and then I can reveal the answer and we can say whether or not they earned, you know, however much they bet or are they going to lose? You know, we'll, 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 we'll do that here once we reveal the answer. So that is how that works. So then you're just going to basically go through and update all of your clues and all of your answers. And, uh, you know, then the last one will be if you're going to use any kind of, if you're going to use a, a final Jeopardy type of question, you'll do that here. This is your final question. Type that clue, type the answer, and that's that. And if you want to do a different, you know, if you want this to say something else, you can change this. Very, like I say, it's very easy to customize. It is very customizable. There's a lot you can do. All right, so now you know how to play the game. You know how to customize it. Of course, the last thing uh, to know about is how do you get it? And of course, that's always very easy. All you have to do is go into the description below where I have a link uh, to where you can get this template and start creating your own Jeopardy style game. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you have fun and we will see you next time.